I'm going to show you the best five exercises to help strengthen and stabilize your knees to help reduce knee pain. You will need either a foam roller, or if you don't have a foam roller, you can use roll towels. I'm going to use two roll towels. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to do a stretching exercise going to help with your posture. So we're just going to extend the legs. If this is uncomfortable or you feel that you're rounding your shoulders, you can sit on a towel, okay? And open the feet hip width apart. And from here, if it's uncomfortable here, use your hands behind your tailbone, bring your chest forward. And right here, you may already feel the stretch in your hamstring. If you're not feeling anything, slightly reach forward and hold it. Go to the point of tension and hold it. Try to lengthen through the back, through the lower back, and through the chest. So all the exercises we're going to do are to really strengthen your quads, your quadriceps muscles, so the muscles in the front of the thighs, and the hip muscle, the glute muscles, because those really help align your kneecap and strengthen the muscles to stabilize this knee. Let's get started with the first exercise. So from here, if you're flexible, you can sit straight. Otherwise, you can slightly lean back. And what you're going to do, you're going to do it one leg at a time. You're going to push your heel. And we're going to, to um, contract the quad muscle. So what you want to do, imagine you press the back of the knee into the mat. And you see my ankle starts lifting off the mat. And you're going to hold it for about five seconds. And we're going to do, you can do 10 reps, okay? So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is one set. You can do 10 sets for each leg. Hold about 5 seconds each. And then you work on the other leg, okay? Same thing. 10 sets holding five seconds, and uh, then you repeat each side three times. So it's three sets, 10 repetitions, holding five seconds. It's the first exercise to strengthen the quads here. Second exercise, we keep working on the quads, but we go a bit deeper. So we can be on our forearms here. And again, we want to contract the quads, flex, the ankle slightly lift and slowly down. That's important that you really contract before you lift because I don't want you to lift the knee bent. So press the knee cap, the knee down, the back of the knee towards the mat. Flex the ankle, lift and down. You can do 15 repetitions. Also, what you want to do is contract your abs. Okay, you don't want to relax and hurt your lower back. And you want to press the shoulders down. So you maintain the entire body. You want to maintain your alignment in the spine. Same thing, other leg. Three sets of 15. If it's too much, start with less at first. This is the second exercise. Let's look at the third exercise. It's so very similar to the first one, but we go a bit deeper. So if you have a foam roller, use your foam roller. Otherwise, I'm going to use two towels here. Same thing as earlier. You can lean back a little bit. We flex the ankle and we contract the quads, pressing the back of the knee down, lifting the lower leg. Slowly down. And up. Slowly down, up. Let's do five more on this side. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do 10 on the other side. Same thing here, belly in. Flex the ankle and extend. Down. Three. 
So for each leg, you're going to do three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. If you can do more, it's better because we have no weight. Okay, we just contract our muscles. So if you can repeat each exercise throughout the day, maybe three times a day, that's better. Maybe the first week, you just do it once a day. Second week, twice a day. Third week, three times a day. This was the third exercise. Fourth exercise, we're going to work on strengthening the glute here, the hips, because they also contribute to stabilizing the knee. So on your side, forearm down. Again, you don't want to sink into your shoulder, so press the shoulder down, belly in. We're going to keep the feet together and lift the knee. Okay? It's the clam. Lift. I like to do this one with a band. So if you have a resistance band, you can use it. If you have a dumbbell, I like to place a dumbbell. So if this was my dumbbell, I put it here and I hold it. But you want to do this once you're comfortable doing three sets of 15 repetitions on each side. This is the fourth exercise. Fifth exercise, very similar. We lift, we flex the ankle, and we extend the knee. Back down, down, up, extend, back, down. Okay, so be careful here. You don't want to extend your leg back. Keep your knee right here. What you can do is place your hand to make sure you are keeping the knee right here instead of doing this. Out, down, up, extend, curl, down, up, extend, curl, down. Okay, same thing here, do three sets of 15 and um, on each side. So this should take you about 20 minute workout. Stop once a day, then twice a day, then three times a day. I'm Noko Mabo. If you like what I do, subscribe to my channel, check the links below and uh, I have all kinds of programs you can choose from. See you next time. We're going to do a yoga practice for knee pain. So we're going to strengthen the knees, but also make sure that you don't aggravate the pain in your knees. Namaste.